In this section, we will see how the complexes are distributed in the thylakoid membrane and why. When we talk about the photosynthetic apparatus, we refer mostly to the main complexes of thylakoid membrane, PS2, PS1, light harvesting complexes, cytochrome B6F, and ATP synthase. Those complexes are not arranged in the, in the membrane randomly. Their distribution is related to their structure, their mechanism, and the external factor, factor like environmental conditions. The combination of all those factors determine the architecture of thylakoid membrane. First of all, we have to give a name to, a di to the different areas of the thylakoids. Outer lamelle are the marginal region of the grana. Grana lamelle are the oppressed membrane into the grana. Stroma lamelle are the membrane that connect the different grana. The complexes are distributed in this area according to their properties. If we consider the size and the structure of the complexes, we, uh, we see how PS2 and cytochrome B6F, they don't have any stromal subunit. But PS1 and the ATP synthase, they both present a bulky stromal domain, larger than uh, 4 nanometer. Taking in consideration the size of the complexes and the distance between the oppressed membrane, we can see how PS2 is present only in the oppressed region. Cytochrome B6F is more homogeneously distributed. PS1 and ATP synthase are localized only in the unoppressed membrane because they, their stromal uh, domains are too big to insert in the space between the membranes in the oppressed region. This kind of distribution is called lateral heterogeneity. But why, why the separation is so important? One of the reasons are, uh, is related to the different kinetics of PS uh, Photosystem 2 and Photosystem 1. If we consider that the first step of each uh, photoreaction, we observe that a different speed in the photochemical reaction between PS1 and PS2. Because of this, PS1 is called fast photosystem and PS2 is uh, called slow photosystem. Furthermore, PS1 has a lower, P, uh, has a, a lower excitation energy than PS2, and the energy of the excited pigment move, moves preferentially toward the photosystem with the lowest energy. If PS2 and PS1 are in contact, the two photosystems are excitonically coupled. So when the LHC complexes are in the excited state, they preferentially transfer the energy to PS1 limiting the photochemistry of PS2. This phenomenon is called spillover. If PS1 and PS2 are kept separated, se uh, separated when the antenna system is excited, the excitation move, uh, move to uh, the relative photosystem, avoid the energy unbalancing and preventing the spillover. So, the lateral heterogeneity is a strategy adopted by the plants to avoid the unbalancing of the energy transfer to one single photosystem and maintaining the equilibrium between the two photosystems. Concerning the environmental changes, we can distinguish two types. Short-term uh, acclimation, like the example of changing the light intensity during the day, or and long-term acclimation, like the seasonal photo periods. An example of uh, short-term acclimation is the state transition. This mechanism occur, occurs when uh, there is an overexcitation of, PS, of PS2. This brings to the reduction of the plastokinone pool and the activation of a specific kinase. This enzyme attach a, phot a phosphate group to the LHC2 proteins, inducing the detachment of PS2 reaction center and the movement to PS1. This state is called state 2. When the light in intensity is reduced and the excitation of PS2 is decreased, the plastokinone pool is oxidized with the deactivation of uh, kinase activity. In the meanwhile, a specific phosphatase is activated 
and this removes the phosphate group from LHC2 with the return of those to the PS2 reaction center. So, in general, and in general, this, uh, um, this one is one of the strategies uh, that plant used to balance the excitation between PS2 and PS1. About the long-term acclimation, an example is the number on antenna protein bound to the reaction center, so-called antenna size. Reduce antenna size as the aim to avoid the overexcitation of the photosystems, with the risk of photodamage during really hot summer days, for example. Larger antenna size as the aim to improve the capturing of the light in suboptimal uh, light condition, for example, in short winter days. In conclusion, the distribution of the complexes is defined by different factors that are related to, their proper to the properties of the complexes, to their function and to the environmental conditions. The combination of these factors create and define what we call the architecture of thylakoids that play a fundamental role in the optimization of the photosynthetic machinery.